Hey guys, I hope you're well. So today we're going to be working with Maple 2024. So the latest version of uh, Maple. Okay, it's quite exciting stuff that's been added to it. Um, one thing in particular is uh, artificial intelligence. So what's new in Maple 2024? So there we are. So AI in Maple. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking at. Okay, so on a side note, guys, I really appreciate it if you do subscribe to my channel. So if you like what you see, please do subscribe. So yeah, bravo. Let's get going. So shut that, okay. And then I need to open that panel, okay. Click on that, click on that. Then that's the stuff that we're gonna use. So I need to accept the terms of use. So apply globally. And then remember, so note that answers from any AI may not be accurate or complete. Okay, so bear that in mind. Okay, cool. So untitled, there we are. So what I need to do now is um, find, um, uh, the volume of a sphere. So I say volume of a sphere. Right. So search that. Bravo. So it's come up with that. Right. So insert the formula. Right. So that's our volume. Right. And say for instance, I've got the radius um, is six. Right. And then eval V. So that's the volume of my sphere, right? You could also do it in terms of diameter. So that's another option there, right? So insert formula, and then I need to crack on, right? So we got that. So my diameter is um, 12. So the diameter is twice the length of radius, right? And then evolve V, right? So there we are, cool. Right, so you've got other met, uh, other methods as well, you know, in terms of circumference, sphere in terms of surface area, and all that and stuff here. Right, uh, I'm not going to bother with them, but you get the gist, right? Okay, cool. So I can also do, uh, check for, say, the area of a triangle. So area of a triangle. Click search. You got Heron's formula. So insert formula. All right, and uh, you got the other ones. This is the common one, All right? Half base times height. Okay, right. So you get the gist of it, right? Okay, cool. Right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work on uh, the natural language part of Maple. So it uses um, stuff like uh, Chat GPT and uh, um, OpenAI. So those are the language models that it uses. Okay. Uh, so with natural language. Right, so I've got um, a few uh, methods in there. Okay, so explain, get command, get math, query, and raw query. Okay, um, so what I'm going to start off with is uh, explain. Right, so my input is um, Gaussian elimination. So it explains that for you. Right, so obviously Gaussian elimination, so a method used in linear algebra to solve systems of linear equations, okay, named after a mathematician, a German mathematician, Carl Friedrich Gauss, okay, right, and then um, I'll use the get command option, right, and what's the, well, I'm going to type in what is command. For solving first order differential equation. So this is this is what you put in Maple. Okay, so it gives you that, right? And um, I can use the get command thing option again. Actually, let me do it this way. So get command. So what is the syntax okay for solving the inverse of a matrix of a matrix so this refers to maple okay so I've got my matrix A 
there we are, so two by two matrix. And then to solve uh, for the inverse, you type in a to the power of minus one, okay? Or you can do it this way as well. Just copy that, comma copy, paste that in there. And um, I'll change that to command. It's my name. Right. Um, so you just type in matrix inverse, then A, right? So that'll get you the inverse for matrix A. So the, those are the commands that you'd put in Maple, okay? Right, uh, I'm gonna click on uh, get math. So get math, right? And um, it's gonna be what is the volume, the, sorry, what is the formula to solve the volume of a sphere? my string so I've got two options there okay right and then um, the general relativity so get math right so my string will be what is the general general relativity formula what is the general relativity So that's um, Einstein stuff. Bravo, there we are. Okay. And then um, I'm going to go with the query part. So query. All right. So Fibonacci numbers. So then it explains that. Okay. So there we are. And then. Um, after the query part, I'm going to do a row query. So, row. Right. Uh, so, plot. So, plot. In 3D, in three dimension. Uh, X squared. Plus Y squared. Equals 1 in maple. Right. So obviously this equation is in um, uh, in two dimension dimensional space. Okay, so let's see what happens. So evaluating that. Right. Okay. So um, so that's in two D, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna plot it. So with with plot, right, and I'll copy that. So come on, copy, paste that, and remove um, the quotation marks. Okay, right. So um, I'm gonna plot that. Obviously, it's a cylinder. Yeah, the guy will appear as a cylinder as, as mentioned here, right? Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something else. So copy that syntax and paste that in there. It's still 3D anyway. Yeah. Right. And then um, plus Z squared. I'll just tidy that up. Yeah. We can change that. So two kind of two kind of squashed uh, a squashed sphere, so I'll change that. So you could move like uh, a proper sphere. Okay, cool. So yeah, so that's um part of the natural language and um, AI stuff from um, Maple. Okay. Uh, there's more stuff to come anyway so yeah so hopefully this was helpful guys so if you like what you see again uh please do subscribe and thanks in advance uh have a lovely day cheers bye bye